Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day and welcome to episode 7 of Road to Barrows and as a matter of fact this is going to be the last episode of this series which is, you know, kind of sad I guess uh, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna so stop making old school RuneScape videos this only means that the Road to Barrows series is complete now if you look at my inventory I have a lot of herbs and uh, some mithril bolts and some runes uh, that is because I actually took a break from doing barrows at chest I believe 67 or something like that because as you can see my money is quite low at the moment so um, I did kill some chaos druids because if we go into the grand exchange I'm gonna see uh, where are the runners um, there we go the runners are worth quite a lot actually and uh, due to the fact that they are used to make the prayer potions so as I needed some money to um, continue doing my barrels um, I actually took a break and did some chaos druids and during that time I actually got 54 strength and I think that's about it maybe an HP level as well I do believe so uh, but if you look at my magic level, I actually went from 60 to 65 from only barrels and I'm really close to 66 as well. So that's actually really cool and it's going to help me in the future um, getting closer to obviously Trident of the Seas, which is uh, an amazing stuff. And I do believe it's uh, quite cheap actually, I think it's around 1 mil at the moment. Um, so if I'm lucky at barrels, I'm not going to reveal what I've got so far from all these chests. Um, but if I do, you know, uh, get 75 magic while doing either barrows or you know in the next series I'm gonna start that would be really helpful because magic is obviously a very good skill and uh, ranged is probably my next goal my next goal is probably getting 61 ranged for the rune crossbow and uh, I might as well do pest control quite a lot um, to get the uh, void set because obviously void is very strong when it comes to damage output so I might be doing that uh, but anyways, now I have 173k and that is enough to actually continue doing barrows. So I have clips of quite a lot of the chests that I did complete and um, we're going to take a look at that right now. And uh, I will not show all the chests because it's kind of boring for you guys to only see runes all the time. I want to say that I actually didn't get kill count, like the trash kill count for most of the chests. I tried it um, like... 50 chests in I think at the two or three chests with kill count But it turns out that it's not very effective for me with my current stats You you know you prefer to do it with melee and I kind of had to sold, sell my dragon longsword To even uh, be able to get money to continue doing barrels, which was kind of annoying So I had to kill it with dragon dagger which was super inefficient And even getting the kill count for that took me way too long And also it took me like five sharks to even be able to get that so it took way too long and it wasn't efficient money wise so I actually stopped doing it and only tried to go in for the barrels items but I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips here with um, all the different drops that I got well actually not all of them but quite a lot of the barrels chests that I did open and uh, yeah let's do that now let's see what I get Okay guys, so in these couple of clips I might have forgotten one of them or two of them or something or put them in, you know, a bit of a wrong order because there's a lot of clips. As you can see I'm pretty much only getting runes and some coins every single chest and I think it took me around 40 or even 50 chests before I even got my first item so spoiler alert I do get an item. But it was, you know, kind of demotivating and I was like, oh my god, am I even gonna get an item? And uh, yeah, it would be kind of sad if I did 100 chests without even getting an item and it would kind of make the video boring, I guess. Uh, because, you know, nothing really happens except runes and normal coins. But at around f chest 50 or something, yeah, something like that, I got this item and it was Torog's Helm. And I was like super hyped that I got an item and I thought it would be worth like maybe a hundred a couple of hundred K or something and I price checked it and it was 94 K so that was pretty damn sad to be honest but I mean at least it's an item and I do hope that in the next like 33 chests that I do still have to do uh, I do get something better or you know that I get something at all because honestly when you don't get anything at all at barrels, it's kind of demotivating uh, due to the fact that sometimes you actually lose money on doing it because the runes aren't really that profitable unless you get a lot of chaos runes and you just lose money on doing this and that's why I had to do chaos druids. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to complete the last chest and I'm gonna get back to you with all the loot that I got or well pretty much show you just what I did now, um, all the different loots that I got and if I do get an item. So let's see what you know that turns out to be. 
All right, guys, I have now finished 100 barrels chest and I will prove that by going into my boss log and scroll down a bit. As you can see, we have finished exactly 100 barrels chests and that took quite some time. I'm not gonna lie. I did barrels consistently pretty much. Oh, sorry for the sound in the background. Sorry. It's some weird stuff going on. But anyways, I did barrels for around, I would say, 5 hours every day for like 3 days or 2 days. I don't I don't really remember, but from 15 to 10 hours, something around that time. Um, but then that's only doing the barrels, but then I actually had to go recharge my Iban staff, which was very confusing and it took quite some time. As well as I had to actually kill Chaos Druids to get money again and all that kind of stuff. So overall, I would say I spent around 20 hours doing 100 barrels chests and some people might say that's way like shit or whatever because they have really good gear and can do it in like five hours or six hours with my gear i could not really do that because sometimes i had to you know um use a lot of prayer pots and stuff like that because uh, the kills weren't really that quick so overall uh, my stat changes were i think i got from 50 i'm not sure if i went from 50 to 53 but I do believe that's the case. So from 50 to 53 ranged, um, which is not bad at all. Um, actually, I think I started on 42, but then I level like I tried it a bit, but then I <laughs> decided that it didn't really work. Uh, I think I got from like 42 to 43, something like that from barrels. And uh, during that time, I realized it was really shit. So I leveled it up to 50 so I could use magic shortbow. And from there, I went to 53. So overall, 53 range. That's really cool. And on magic levels, I went from 60 to 67 only on barrels. Nothing else. I didn't use magic on anything else that I can think of except teleport teleporting to Varak sometimes to buy new prayer potions. So maybe like, I don't know. 400 magic experience comes from actually just teleporting to Varrock. But anyways, I went from 60 to 67 magic. Um, so if I get how many levels? Eight more levels, I can use Trident of the Seas, which is obviously really amazing. And uh, I don't have that much money right now, so uh, I will have to farm some money for that. But uh, it's definitely something I want to go for in the future. But anyways, what we're gonna do now is uh, I have a couple of clips of uh, around 20 chests that I did. Uh, out of the like 40 uh, that I had left to do or 30 that I have left to do uh, and then uh, live reactions of a couple of items that I did get so I actually did get some items from these lost chests that I did um, so yeah let's go have a look at that so the clips where I actually get a Barrows item will be live commentary and they are 100% real reactions from me when I actually got the items what I use to record is called Shadowplay, which is a built-in recorder that whenever something cool happens, I can just press a button and it will save the last 5 minutes of gameplay. So if I do get an item, I could easily save the reaction without having to press record before each chest. Also, I got both of these items around 2 o'clock in the night, so I had to keep my volume down. Sorry if it's cringeworthy, but without further ado, let's see what I got. Oh my god! A Dork's Plate Buddy! How much shit? How much is this? Please be worth something. I'm gonna go teleport. That was the last trip. Lost, yeah, lost supplies I had for this trip. Holy shit. Second item, guys. How much is this? Please be over 200k, please. 550k. Yes, at chest how much? 77. That's not bad, guys. Hells to the S. Oh, Dark's Axe. Oh my god, that's so close. Like 70, chest 77 and 81. How much is this worth? Probably not as much, but let's see. This is so cool. I've got three items now. Torax Helm, Darox Play Body, and Darox Axe. Let's see how much this is worth. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it would be like 150k or something. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, 330k. Alright guys, so what you're looking at right now is something I will start using in each old school progression video I will make in the future, as long as I am going to kill bosses. So essentially what this is, is a slide showing the collection of boss drops that I've got so far, and how many of each. And as the old school progression videos goes further, this will start getting more crowded with items, hopefully. But for now, I have only received one Torox Helm, one Darox Plate Body, and a Darox Axe. Alright guys, so that's it for this series. I hope all of you people who watched it did enjoy it, and it was very exciting to make, as most of the things I had to do in these videos was on some kind of level new experiences for me. 
I did play back in 2007 originally, but I was quite a noob and did not really experience the game on the same level as I can do now, due to the simple fact that I have more understanding of the game as a whole. Anyways, I will kick off a new old school series very soon, and it will for sure be road to some other boss with an equal structure to this series. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like, and if you want to see future old school series, make sure to subscribe. Again, I thank you all for watching, and see you in my next video.